Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to another episode of Eric Mealtime. In this episode, it's going to be Yakitori. I found a really cool place where it's got the actual charcoal grill and I can film right in front of it, I think. So I believe Yakitori is the best way to eat a chicken. Let's go have some. Very English friendly. Look, English menu and staff available. That's nice, huh? Right from the get go, it's bilingual. So yeah, this, this is what I'm after, right? It's got charcoal, Japanese, it's called sumi. Yeah, so it's got, it's really a, it's a smoky type of flavor. These are all the different cuts of chicken. Yeah. Momo and negima, I think are my favorites. Tsukune is okay, hatsu. Gyutan is good too. Tongue. Kawa is a good one, skin. Neku, neku. Right? See, sometimes English and Japanese are very similar. Neku, neku. Biru, beer. Hey, the sign says egg yo chew. So if you see a sign like this outside a place, it's open. Come on in. Yidashimase. Yidashimase. That means welcome. This is supposed to be the English menu, but there's kanji characters here. Hmm. Oh, here we go. It's bilingual. English and Chinese menu. Hmm. Love that shot right there. Yeah. It's awesome. We're the only ones in here. We get to sit right in front of the grill. Yeah, you gotta order this for sure. This is called Moriawase, I think. It's a different, basically, set. Chicken neck, chicken leg, chicken thigh, chicken chisel, chicken hearts, chicken gizzard, chicken wing, chicken hip, chicken skin, chicken gristle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got, there's always a few pork and beef entries too. The tongue is my favorite. Okay, start with the beer. Because beer and yakitori go really well together. Mm -hmm. Let's save that for the yakitori and get on to this. Japanese sake. I love the bottle, how it doesn't have any label. They're bottling it themselves. Yeah. Well, basically, it comes out of this bottle into your own personal bottle. Hitakami is the name of it. The cameraman always drinks. The cameraman always eats. This is pretty strong, so I care about. It's cute, the glasses, huh? You got a happy face and you got a target. I'll drink out of the target. Yeah. Okay, cheers guys. Down the hatch. Cold sake. Oh, this is a good one. Not too dry, just a touch of a a fruitiness but very smooth yeah definitely a good one so this is the otoshi or table charge typically this is two three maybe four dollars for two people so like a couple bucks each it's very fair this is a cream cheese with apple flavored jelly inside it and he, you can refill the crackers as much as you like so let's go healthy big portion interesting I don't believe I've ever had apple jam, cream cheese. It's more like a dessert, really. But I like it. I like it so much, I want some more right away. It's gonna take the yakitori a while to cook. I love how the plates are personalized here. This is great. It says, Daijobu, zetta yokunaru. It means, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Love that. It's awesome. So the chopstick holders also have a message on them. This is interesting. It says, Yakitori mo, tsukune mo, ramen mo, sake mo, koi mo, samenai uchi ni, which means eat it while it's hot. Definitely. Yeah. Love. You got to eat love while it's hot. I like that. The master of this place is a clever dude, or whoever wrote this, the PR company. I'm not sure. This next dish is an exotic one. So they have chicken bones, chicken bone yakitori, it's called nankotsu, but this is a special dish. This is actually shark bones, and it's in a ume sauce, which is plum. So it's gonna have a, a tartness to it. I've never had shark bone, not the shark fin, shark bones. I really enjoy the first time when I eat new stuff, because I have no idea how I'm gonna react to it. Oh, 
come on. I recommend the non kotsu, the, the chicken. This is, oh, it's, it's fishy. <laughs> I'll just say that, it's fishy. The bones are, they're cut up really small. So, I mean, they're chewable. I don't know, I don't know. the ume is nice. The ume is making it bearable, right? Because it's sour, it's very tart. So, I like the flavor, but shark bones. Actually, I kind of think I like it. Some stuff you just acquire a taste for immediately. Yeah, it's the consistency, the crunchiness. It's like, a, almost like a potato chip. Isn't that weird? First yakitori has arrived. And this one, it doesn't have any chicken in it. It's cheese. This is barbecued cheese. How awesome is that? Not deep fried, just barbecued cheese. I think it's mozzarella cheese. I'll let you know. Well, yeah. Um, it's cheese and mochi together, right? It's a rice cake, but it's nice and soft, it's nice and hot. So this is onion tempura or an onion flour. They give you scissors to cut it up. And then it goes into the, looks like Thousand Island type of sauce. Eat it while it's hot. Into the sauce we go. I love onion rings. Onion tempura, very similar. It's the Japanese style for onion rings. Oh, it's a sweet onion. Incredible. Very sweet. Wasn't what I was expecting. Yeah. It's not just the sauce that's sweet. The onion itself, very sweet. Oh, this is amazing. More onion than batter, for sure. It's very clean. Oh. Might just be the best onion I've ever had. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> This is the tongue. And this is uh, garlic. Garlic. Yeah, garlic. The garlic stems. The stems of the garlic. Don't knock it till you try it, beef tongue. So there's two ways you can eat this. You can either do it personal, like right off the stick, or you can use chopsticks and take it all off and then share with people. So it's really, really sort of your choice. And that's quality. Tender. Generally beef tongue is very thick and hard to chew. It's, it's a tough meat. So when you when they serve it, it's really thin, which makes it easier to chew. But this is this is really thick, and it's also very soft at the same time. So quality, for sure. And this one is the garlic garlic stems. We're gonna call them. Yeah, and I think it's coated in bacon, which is awesome. Anything coated in bacon is delicious, right? Oh. It's bacon. The garlic is it's bitter. But because it's a marriage between the bacon and the garlic stems, it works. So this is the set of, it's a five, but it's for two people. So there's, he said there's two more coming. Okay, so this dish is a tori no kawa or a chicken skin. Chicken skin? With daikon radish on top, some onions. 
and it's served cold, so it's just more solid, very solid. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's not raw though; it's cooked. Oh, it's very rubbery. Hmm, it's in a ponza sauce, which I like. So it gives it a little sourness. Oh, the texture of the chicken skin, very rubbery, eraser like, you know. Okay, so I get one of each. The other one is for the camera, man. Alright. First one is Negi Ma. Negi. This is Negi basically. So it's uh, chicken mixed with onions. It's one of my favorite ones. It's a, it's a basic one. Any yakitori shop will sell this Negi Ma. Oh, that's good Negi Ma. But it needs a little spice. This is togarashi, you know, red pepper. Yeah, add a little bit of that. Spice it up. Spicy. I'll try the first one just like it is, and the second one will add spice. I like this one. It's soft, but it, it's got some bone texture in it as well, too. Mm -hmm. It's very fatty, which isn't a bad thing. Well, oh, yeah. chicken heart. Put it down in the comments if you know what part of the chicken this is. Whatever that word, A-O-R-T, is. I guess I could have consulted a dictionary. Well, I'm too hungry for that right now. So this one is wrapped in a mint leaf, which is, it's very powerful mint. It's called shiso. And then this is plum sauce. So this one's gonna be bursting with flavor. A lot of stuff happening here. Oh, oh my, this is, this is my favorite one so far. Wow. You have the flavor of the mint, you have the tartness of the plum, and then you have the juiciness of the chicken. Oh, fabulous. This one, this is amazing. じゃあもうこれレモンを持ってスタンバイしてもらって。オッケー、すぐね。はい。オッケー。僕がタイミングを取りますいきます。じゃあレモンを。いきます。ありがとうございます。またくさんナイスレモン。バイスレモン。あり
and I'm not touching it. It's doing that all by itself. And this is my favorite way to eat tofu. I love eating tofu deep fried like this. So it's hot. Mm -hmm. Most times, most ways that you eat tofu, it's cold and jello-like. This one here is pork belly. Let's get a couple of onions, some onions on there. It's got the daikon radish as well too. Pork belly. Oh yeah, looking forward to this. Oh wow. It's very much bacon like. It's just like crispy bacon. You put the sticks in these little cups. Every Yaki 20 Plus will have like a cylinder that you put the sticks in when you're done. Better than bacon. Sticker. Wow. But technically that's really not yakitori because it's part, you know, but yakitori extends out to all different cuts of meat, as you can see. So this next one here is the chicken hip, the hip. The last one, the ones that were shaped like hearts were indeed chicken heart. <laughs> Had it confirmed by the master. This one's like a very chewy consistency, it seems like. When I look, mm-hmm. Oh, this one definitely needs some spice. I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, it's fatty. Tastes more like the belly to me. You know, but chicken hip. Really soft. Can you guess what this is? Can you tell by the looks of it? This is chicken skin. Is it better than KFC? That's the question. Because <clears throat> as a kid, KFC chicken skin was like the best thing that I'd ever had, I thought. I'd always eat the chicken skin first, off the chicken, all of it, and then eat the meat. That's how much I liked it. got a sweetness to her. Pretty amazing. It's more meaty than you would think. I mean, even though it's skin, it does taste like it's got the consistency of meat, if that makes any sense. Found something interesting on the drink menu. This is called Umeshu, and it's got a fermented plum, huge fermented plum in the bottom, yeah. So, you stir it up. The plum is full of flavor. It's basically, it's a super sour plum. Yeah, I'm going for a taste. Put it in the light for ya. you. Got, you can see the, you can see the drink getting stronger already. It's just falling apart, yeah, because it's, been fermented for a long time. Oh my. It's it's in a light syrup. That is delicious. This is more of an after dinner drink. Yeah. Alright, so it's intermission time here at the Eric Meal Time Show. And let's see, what can we do? Let's, I wanna make this the center attraction. So we'll use this advertisement here. Now, and what I'm gonna attempt to do is balance this on top of the little sign right there. I mean, it's only, you can see how thick it is. It's that, it's that thick. So let's see if I can find the balance point. The bottom of the glass is flat. There's no grooves in it. You can see, and this is normal normal glass, not gimmicked. Ready? 
hope I don't dump it all on the ground. I'm gonna do it over the table because I don't wanna dump it on the floor. Ready? Okay. Here goes nothing. Hopefully not nothing, something. Ready? Oh yeah, and the crowd goes wild. So how is this possible? Here's the reveal. Right there, there's the reveal. You just prop it up with your thumb. Anybody can do this, just, just practice a little bit. So it's, it's, there's the side view. That's it, that's a beautiful little trick, isn't it? Yeah, because from the front, it looks like it is balancing on there. Right, very magical. Get some. It's time to get into the deep fried tofu. Yes, it is. It's kind of tricky to pour it. I guess I could just do this. Yeah, this will work. Actually, it didn't work very well. This, this would have been better. <laughs> deep fried tofu. Oh yeah. Definitely a favorite of mine. Here goes. Hmm. I want to say it, it tastes like egg, although it's not egg. I know it's not egg. Maybe it is egg. <laughs> what is that coating? Could be like like scrambled egg, maybe like coated on it. Could be. It's a very light, but the tofu is amazing. I love the texture of deep fried tofu. This is mostly daikon radish here. And bonita flakes. Let's do another one. It's more of the bonita flakes. Right there. Yeah, the topping is everything. Okay, one bite. Look at this beautiful dish. It's like scrambled eggs. It's called tamagoyaki, and it's it's layered egg, so it's rolled. And then this is fish eggs on top, or mentaiko. That's the name of the fish eggs. Yeah. Very popular in the Kyushu region of Japan. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little little show you on top too. Because I have to show you the show you. Very colorful dish, I love this. Look at that. Definitely wins a prize for the most colorful dish today. Yeah. Oh boy. Bursting with flavor. The mentaiko fish eggs are very strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'll just say I like that. There you go. So you can see the layering of the egg dart. I came off. Now, it's really interesting to see them make this like in a in a special sort of rectangular fry pan. <clears throat> I think if you if you watch my Tsukiji video, the fish market video, and there's a video of some guys making these. Yummy. I thought the tofu was the last dish, but there's two more dishes left. All right, I'm into this. I'm into this. This is a big dish. This is a, uh, I don't know, it looks like a, a boar head or something. This is the ears. It's a potato salad with a smoked boiled egg. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting. And the chef instructed me to mix it up. You mix the egg into it. Yeah. Smash it up so the presentation is real nice when it comes, but then you gotta mix the egg into the potato salad. Yeah. It's, it's like a whole potato. 
Yeah. But they're very soft. It's easy to mash. Mm. It's got mayonnaise in it. That makes me happy. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. It smells delicious. Eggs the hardest thing to smash up. Okay, going in for a big spoonful. New plate. Is it delicious? I'm guessing yes. Oh. I'm tasting the smoky egg. Two? Two. Mm -hmm. And lots. Lots of mayonnaise. Pickle. It's pickle. Mm -hmm. Very nice potatoes. It's a, it's a fresh potato for sure. Meaning one whole potato that was boiled and then I smashed it. Yeah. Wow. That is a good potato salad. Yeah. Definitely gets a thumbs up. I am stuffed. <clears throat> I'll tell you guys, I am stuffed right now. Fortunately, the last course is light. It's the salad. Yeah. It's interesting and odd at the same time to me that salad can a lot of times come last. Yeah. So, cabbage salad. Very popular in Japan, cabbage salad. It's in a, I smell sesame. Which I love, a sesame sauce. Pretty basic. I don't know. It's like a light sesame sauce. A little bit of show you. That's it. All right, it's time to finish up this drink. Yeah. Pretty tasty. Finishing up with the sour plum. So the deal is that the longer that these are fermented and the softer they are, the more sour that they are. And this is a big one. Yeah, much bigger than the ones they sell in the supermarket, or the bigger the ones than you get in your bento lunch boxes. Gotta do it in one bite. Go big or go home. The pit. Oh. Oh. Salty, sour. Oh. It's more sour than a lemon. Oh. And it's more salty than anything you've ever had. But it's pretty delicious once you get used to it. Yeah. So I guess it's time to rate this meal. The name of the restaurant is, let's see, it's written right here. It's called the Fukumimi. Fukumimi. Right here. Fukumimi means lucky ear. Loosely translated. Yeah. So this place is located in Shinjuku, which is a big part of Tokyo, big city. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to check it out. And I guess I, I got to rate this. Now. Because it's the time. Yeah, so let me uh, let me get my digits ready here. <clears throat> to warm up, warm up the hands ready. Thumbs facing down. Ready, one, two, and three. The rating is a six. It's a perfect six out of six. This is a fabulous meal. This is some of the best yakitori I've ever had. And this wasn't recommended to me. I was just, was just sort of walking down the street and found this place. So lucky ear, lucky, just, it was just lucky. 
So that means I'm giving away three of the Get Some Snack Packs. There's a link right up here to somebody unboxing it if you want to see what's inside. Basically, it's stuff that I handpick myself, snacks and goodies from Japan, pack into a box called the Snack Pack and send it off to you as my thanks for you watching my videos. To enter the drawing, just put a comment down below and I will announce three winners in the very next Eric Mealtime episode. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to reading your comments. See you next time. So, question. Why did the chicken cross the road? Think you know? To tell all of his friends to watch the Eric Surf 6 channel and subscribe. <coughs> Cheesy. Click that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. See you soon.